Hello and welcome. This is Sam. Today we are going to learn how to create a smooth scrolling effect for your website or your web application. Let me create a new HTML file here and HTML snippet and we need some dummy content here. No need to waste our time on creating the dummy content. Let's open up the browser and navigate to freeformatter.com and just find uh, lorem ipsum generator and set this value as 5000 and set this as yes and generate text. Now our dummy content is ready. Let's copy this and paste it here. Okay, now I'm going to create three buttons to handle the smooth crawling effect. So button container, button, uh, this button I just want to have for scroll to bottom. Let me copy this, paste it here. And okay, this is for scroll by 300. And finally, scroll to element. Okay, let me add on click event also. Scroll to bottom. Okay, we are going to define this method in JavaScript, so don't worry about that. Scroll by units, one more method on click, scroll to element, that's it. Don't panic, I'm going to explain everything in detail. Before we write JavaScript, I just want to add some CSS styles here. Style, and I just want to add it for body. This is just for the dummy purpose, I mean, this is just for the demo purpose. And button container, I just want to keep it as fixed, position fixed. And bottom, from bottom it should be in 20 pixel, right, 20 pixel, background, white, triple F stands for white, border, one pixel solid, and gray triple C and let's add some padding also okay this is fine now let's see how it looks like in the browser okay so let's open up the file okay this is the page here we have scroll to bottom scroll by 300 and scroll to element buttons let's write the JavaScript code for that Okay, let's come to the bottom. Script. And let's define all the methods which we mentioned in the HTML part. Okay, function. Scroll to bottom. No arguments. And scroll by, sorry, scroll by. and scroll to element. Now, our first button should scroll the page to the bottom. Let's make it work. In order to do that, we need to use window.scroll. Let's pass the necessary values. Top, sorry, top, 2500 so it will be scrolled to the specified position but it's not bottom let's handle that later and left as zero since uh, we don't want any scrolling in the left side and most importantly we should uh, provide the behavior and it should be smooth okay that's all about scroll to bottom now scroll by units okay now we can call the same method but 
sorry a different method with same set of values top 300 pixel so what will happen here is it will scroll by the specified value from the current position and left as zero and as usual behavior as smooth okay finally scroll to element okay let's give the id to the random element here uh, let's okay let's add let's add h tag here h1 tag here so test element and i want to give the id to this element test okay so what we are going to do here is get the element from the dom and call the scroll method let's see how to do that document dot document dot query selector um, actually you can even use uh, get element by id method now i am using query selector and the id of the element is the element we are going to take is test and scroll into view now the same set of values no that's it now it's time to test all the things okay let's go back to the browser refresh okay let's see scroll to bottom is working or not let's see once again okay that's working fine but I'm going to do one more thing here let me copy this content and I'm going to duplicate it okay just remove the test because it will come twice okay so let's refresh this page and let's try once more oh see this is not the bottom okay now we are going to handle this problem but before that let's before that let's see all other buttons are working fine okay scroll by 100 sorry 300 okay this is working fine and now the third button since we are at the test element i'm just scrolling to the top and i'm clicking this button scroll to element and it's perfectly working right okay let's fix the scroll to bottom method here we have provided the value as 2500 instead of that sometimes the height of the page will be larger than that so the best practice is take the document scroll height so the top as document body scroll height let's test this quickly okay scroll to bottom yeah this is working fine let me test it again yeah working fine and let's test this scroll by 300 fine and scroll to element that's it that's perfect okay guys thank you for watching this video as usual don't forget to like and share if you are new to this channel consider subscribing meet you soon in the next video lesson bye bye